So, here's how to set up your Pell World dedicated server. This guide's super simple. First, go to Steam and tick Tools to show in the game's drop down box. Next, search Pell World and download the dedicated server. Next, go to developer.valvesoftware.com and download Steam CMD. I'll put a link in the description for a direct download. Make sure once it's downloaded that you extract it to a folder you'll remember. When it's downloading, just press enter on the CMD window if it gets stuck. Next, type force underscore install underscore dir and then the location you'd like the Palworld server to go. Next, type log on anonymous. After that, type app underscore update 2394010 validate. This ensures you download the correct version of Palworld server. In the future, you can go back here and type update 2394010 to get the latest version when we get updates. It will take a while, but once it's done, you can go to the folder you set earlier, open it, and then double click PAL server. It will make a file called Default Pal World Settings. You can open this with a text editor to change all sorts of settings for your server. But most importantly, change the port number to something you'll remember. By default, it's 8211 and that's fine for us. You will now need to find out how to port forward your router by searching your router name followed by port forward guide on Google. You can find your router most often by going to 192.168.1.1. You should double check your firewall is open too. So type firewall in the start menu, then allow an app through the firewall and go to both PowerWorld and PowerWorld server and make sure both options are ticked. Okay, now you're all set up and ready to go. All you need to do is click join multiplayer game. If you are the host of the server, you now need to put in your personal IP address, whatever that may be. Now, if you want your friends to join or community members or other people besides anyone on your local network, you'll need your public IP address, which can be found by just typing what is my IP address in Google. But because I'm running the server myself, I can just go like that, put in my own personal IP and it will now connect. If you get those three dots in the little corner, then you know you're good to go. Here we are. Quick warning whilst editing this, if you're a streamer, I recommend against using your public IP. You should probably use a dedicated server hosting company. There's a bunch online and I'm sure over the coming weeks there'll be a bunch more. Don't put your public IP out there. You will get DDoSed. Anyway, uh, that's good to go. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe for more. Cheerio.